strife is over, the battle done. Now is the victor, triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, good afternoon one and all. During this Holy Eucharistic celebration, in a special way, let us pray for this intention from intention from America. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV, Corpus Fund Donors, Chandrakala, for God's blessings, good health, good future for her by family members. Today's Rosary Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God. Holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we hear in the first reading how the faithful and all those who believe in Jesus are spread out due to the persecutions. But, but in, in spite of persecution, wherever they went, they went on preaching the word of God because they witnessed in their life the resurrected, resurrected Christ. In the gospel too, Jesus telling, I am the bread of life and all those who eat him, all those who drink, will have eternal life. And with faith, all those who live will have eternal salvation. Therefore, in this Holy Eucharistic celebration, in a special way, let us pray for those times where we could not show proper faith and those times when we had troubles, we left Jesus, ask pardon and mercy so that we may worthily partake in this Holy Eucharistic celebration. I confess to Almighty God and, and to, to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters that we have, have greatly sinned. sinned. In, in my, my thoughts, in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask you, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to our family, O Lord, we pray. And graciously ensure those who have endured with the grace of faith and eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son. Holy Son raised with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Date 26, Wednesday, 12 p.m. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses from 1 to 8. There arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria except the apostles. The more men buried Stephen, no, 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 tapu in the Ape Simon, tapu Zadina, Malitapa Putta. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 8, verses from 1 to 8. 
there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem. They were all scattered throughout the region of Judea, Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made great lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church and entering the house after house and dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed them the Christ. And the crowds with one accord paid attention to what was being said by Philip. When they heard him and saw the signs that he did, for unclean spirits crying out with a loud voice came out of many who had them. And many were paralyzed, lame, were healed. So there was much joy in that city. Responsorial Psalm Our response shall be Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord through all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. O sing to glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome your deeds. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry, cry out with joy to the Lord through all the earth. Before you, all the earth shall bow down, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. Awesome is deeds among children of men. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the rivers on food. Let our joy them be in him. He rules forever by his might. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. At the time, Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. And all that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life. And I will raise Him up on the last day. 
the gospel of the law praise to lord jesus christ praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus the disciples have experienced jesus they heard from him they went with him they saw the miracles that jesus did they witnessed all that jesus was doing finally when jesus was in trouble they left him and gone now today in the first reading we hear how people in spite of not seeing jesus not hearing from his own mouth yet with their faith and belief they are going around preaching the word of god because of the persecutions we know how stephen is buried today and people are lamenting and they know that people are persecuted they are experiencing them in spite of that they went around preaching and they were disturbed the group was spread out but what is the peculiar thing here is people were spread out but wherever they went they kept on talking about resurrected christ we all know in the city outside in the society outside how people like politicians or the famous well known there are people around them in order to take photos with them in order to be familiarized with them in order to introduce themselves and so on because they get some benefit from them and there are even some they keep on standing on behind the politician so that they'll come in the newspapers and tv channels because there is some benefit now here the believers the faithful who have not seen jesus yet they are trying to die for him they are living for him which is very very beautiful to see and hear therefore my brothers and sisters the first thing to learn here is that we have been experiencing jesus from our birth we are born catholics and we know how we are going to church and coming back and we are praying at homes learning from parish priests learning from sisters from parents and so on still somehow our faith seems to be shallow therefore today it is a beautiful opportunity for all of us to reflect what kind of faith i am having and in the gospel jesus is also telling very clearly there are many who be, who have seen me and believed but blessed are those who have not seen me yet believe in fact we are blessed people because we are not seen jesus but we still believe jesus and we need to have that faith that jesus is the bread of life he has come to this world to give life in abundance therefore my dear brothers and sisters as god has chosen all of us you and me it is to depend on him to learn from him and not with that stopping but still we need to proceed ahead that proceeding is spreading the word of god talking about the word of god to people out not keeping mics not holding bible and so on but yet through our actions through our words through our lifestyle this is what jesus is also expecting from all of us therefore when jesus was with the disciples he gave lot of instructions to them that what to do where to go and how to do suppose if people doesn't receive you what to be done all that instructions so beautiful therefore today jesus also saying that i have come to do the will of my father not my own will but the will of my father the will of the one who sent me in a similar way you and me as a baptized christians and catholics we have responsibility to do the will of god will of jesus what is that jesus is expecting from me what is that jesus wants me to do for people outside what is that jesus wants me 
to be in this world therefore my dear brothers and sisters to the reading readings are inviting that we need to first of all have the beautiful faith secondly depend on god receive him in our life and proclaim the same jesus whom we experience in our hearts in our lives through our words actions and so on in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and your glory of His name, for our good, for our good and, and the good, the good of, of all His holy, holy church. church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope paul anthony our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in our mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen 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 at the service command and found by the divine teaching we dare to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we were the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are your now and forever lord jesus christ to set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body be correct. Keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually I embrace you as if you are were already there and unite myself to you holy never permit me to be separated from you amen, amen. so wonderful Jesus is so wonderful He will give
God's love is so wonderful, so wonderful for you and for me. Put your trust in God, everybody, every day and every hour. He will give you joy. He will give you hope if you have His love in your heart. God's love is so wonderful. Jesus is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. So wonderful for you. The Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring you our help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses and dare. Thanks be to God. To the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Yes, it's a He's the maker of all earth and heaven, of the ocean, the seas, and all the earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. 